Hello everyone and welcome to my happy place. I hope it becomes yours as well. Today we're going to work on the paper hugs card. Everybody is talking about sending paper hugs. Um, I created this digital image and thought it'd be really cute to send to crafty friends or just, you know, just a relative, a friend that needs a hug. So, um, we're going to recreate this card. It's pretty simple. Um, I just literally did some X's and O's on background, um, copied and pasted them to make a background for this. And these are the, uh, the images here. So we're just going to cut this out real quick. And to just, I like to just kind of go over just the outline with a very, very light blue to give it some dimension here. thought this was kind of cute when everybody keeps on talking about paper hugs I thought well what if it was a literally a paper hug and so I went in and created this to be a paper hug there we go see that looks so much better see how much more definition that gives than this just is flatter, right? So we're going to just fussy cut this out real quick. You could just do X's if you didn't even want to do hugs and kisses. Um, or I mean, O's. <laughs> you could just do a bunch of O's if you didn't want to do... Oh, is the X a hug or is the O a hug? XO, XO, hugs and kisses. I guess the X's are the hugs. O could be a hug too because you like make a circle with your arms. I don't know, but an X could be a kiss because you're like crossing lips. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure the X is a hug. So you could do a bunch of X's if you wanted to, or just a bunch of O's. Do whatever you want. It's your design. Have at it. All right, we are going to this down real quick I need it to be oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm actually going to hmm. actually I think I want it like I think I want to cut it like great right Oops, this isn't exactly straight. There we go. I think we want to cut it right there. That makes sense. And then, I think that one's about right.
just kind of eyeballing it. Yeah, that's pretty good. This isn't exactly straight up here. There we go. That looks better. I do need a piece of pink. Or, or let's do red. Let's do red. Is red big enough? Uh, not quite. This red is a different color red, but that's bigger, so we're going to use that one. All right. I'm trying to use my scraps here, folks. That's basically the right shape. Right width here. It's bent a little bit. So we want to cut it about right there. Let's trim this a little bit. That looks pretty good. A little bit smaller, but it's pretty good. Could make this into a Valentine's Day card since it's red and pink. Here, let's use some double-sided tape and tape this down. Real quick. Eyeball it. We're going to want to do sending you and I want to do I'm going to use this paper hug so I like it the best. So we're going to use that. Side here and let's just square this up a little bit. Sending you and going to cut around paper hugs. If you do not like to fussy cut, you could use your brother's scanning cut to do this. Or find somebody that likes to fussy cut and give them all your fussy cutting stuff. You know, when my kids were little, I used to... Um, we always got the newspaper. Nobody gets the newspaper anymore, but um, we always got the newspaper, especially on Sundays, so we could get all the coupons. And I would go through and take out the coupons that I wanted, and then all the extra coupon sheets I would give to the kids, and I would give them a pair of, you know, kid scissors, and I would let them practice their cutting um, by cutting out the coupons. And they thought they were big stuff because they were helping mommy. And meanwhile, they were learning how to cut 
along the lines so that when they went to kindergarten, they would already have that in their pocket and be able to do it. And it worked. They were all able to do it. All right, I'm just going to cut this around just the same way that I cut this, just leaving a little bit of a border here just to make it pop a little bit. It's making it difficult with a little crease there. I love to fussy cut. All right. So there's paper hugs. I just want to go around this. I just want to make it stand out even more. So I'm just going to, because red is such a dark color, I could use a darker red but it probably wouldn't do exactly what I needed to do. So I'm just going to use black and it'll work just fine. All right. So now all we got to do is just stick these down and we're just going to stick this guy down here. Put some glue on him and add him here. And then we're going to get some humpers here. And add them. Ascending. <laughs> I'm just going to trim this. I don't mind if it's just a little bit under. Or when I cut my card base, I might have caught it a little bit over. I, I don't know. I'm not always exact. I do make mistakes just like everybody else. So we'll just fix it. All right, paper hugs, sending you paper hugs. You know, I'm sitting here wishing I had <laughs> a paper plane stamp, just like a row of paper planes. I just had an idea, so I'm going to pause. And we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, one of the nice things is <laughs> I was able to design this. 
So um, I thought about it and I thought I'm just going to go in and design it because I thought it would be really cute and I'm right it did turn out really cute and it'll go right in and I left these marks on it um, so that I could just easily cut it out I could use my guillotine and cut it but I'm just gonna fussy cut it real quick it is a PNG file, so the nice thing is I can make it, if I wanted to make, you know, a bigger card, 5x7 card, all I'm going to do is resize it. And we're going to put this in here. Is this the way I just, no, I guess this way I can't. We're going to put it right in here, and it's going to look adorable. And it looks like, just like I thought it would. And I'll put this in here. Warm it up a little bit. So it adheres real good. Take this little red piece from the other one off real quick because now it's stuck to my finger. I don't want it to show through. And I'm just going to stick it right in here. And then you can simply stamp your sentiment in there and it's adorable. It turned out really cute. I love it. A little paper airplanes sending you paper hugs and I think it turned out really good. And here it is. This one is not made into a card yet, but it's in pink version. Um, you can just print it on, you know, white paper make it you could do the x's and o's smaller you could instead of doing x's and o's in the background you could use an embossing folder to, for the background but i think it turned out pretty cute and that is our card for today so thanks for stopping by my happy place as a new channel my likes, comments, and subscribes mean a lot, so hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment below about what you think about the paper airplanes. Do you think they're a cool design? Do you think there's something that you would use? Um, I think they're pretty cute and clever.